Work nights. So you weren't home last night? No, I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. No good. There's nobody here. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Dorado. This will take some explaining. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broth the night she died. Maybe the regulars, too. You should check it out. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? KGPL, 11 King, over. K en route. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker.
Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Fuck you. I loved my wife. You're good, kid. You murder your wife and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. I told you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. 
Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Ippolito. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Parker or Green? I don't know who'd be worth. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away at your guts. Holly. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Horse papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. 
The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. He drove me up. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Really. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. Don't tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Bag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. <laughs> Sir, I'm to. Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night, why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. We recovered some of Mrs. Maldonado's personal items from this area, Clem. The last item we found overlooked this place. I think you're lying, and if you want our help, you better come clean with us. Oh, you think I'm some kind of nut job? That I did something to her, me? What proof have you got? I have a store to run if you're quite finished. The young lady... Arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. She looked like she was having a good night to you? Eh, hard to tell. Might have just been the booze that was making her seem maudlin. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that.
Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. The fruit guy's getting away, Phelps. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. Now we've got the time to play around, Phelps. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way.
George, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. Never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that Jap-loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? 